It is a perk that often comes from shopping online. The perk, no sales tax, but in many U.S. states that may soon change because the U.S. Supreme Court just cleared the way for states to tax your purchases. Ed Bruce Tasmeen Mafuz joins us live now at the touch screen with all the details. Tasmeen. Well, yesterday may have actually been the last Cyber Monday without a sales tax, so I hope all of you bought something because it's actually a major setback for all online retailers and consumers. Now, the Supreme Court said, oh, let's stand a ruling allowing Internet retailers to collect sales tax even if they don't have a physical presence in the state. David Kim's family opened up this bike shop 30 years ago. Over the years, he lost customers who started to buy gear online. Taxing people, they're extending a discount to them that the online retailers don't have to pay a penalty for. Whereas with us, if we give someone the same discount, we still got to pay the sales tax on top of that. More than 4 million people shop on the internet, and many don't have to pay an online tax. You always see a lot of customers come in and they, you know, check out their bikes, check out the gear. They have new things that you know they didn't, they didn't get from your store, and uh, probably getting them online at a, a discount or a cheaper rate. In 2012, total sales on the Internet reached $225 billion. States say they lost more than $23 billion in uncollected taxes. There's enough taxes. I just think uh, the government needs to be more fiscally responsible uh, in spending and whatnot. The Internet sales tax compels online retailers that no matter where they're located to collect a sales tax at the time of transaction. Online's biggest retailers, Amazon and Overstock, sued New York State, stating that it didn't have a fiscal presence. But under the New York law, retailers still must collect tax if they use a local resident to solicit business online. Amazon now collects taxes in these 16 states. Might make me a little more apprehensive about actually just going and splurging on something that's, let's say, $100, then, it, then it's like 108 You know, it's just, just a little more hit to the pocket. Today, the Supreme Court said they're not getting involved. The vice president of Overstock said he was disappointed by the court's actions and believes his company has no obligation to be the tax collector for the state of New York. For $65, pretty good. About a third of Americans Ten use their phones or tablets to shop. Online sales were up at least 19 percent on Cyber Monday compared to last year. Now, web sales projected to climb some 15 percent to more than 80 billion dollars. The uh, Amazon appeal asked Congress to create a nationwide approach to the sales tax issue. Now, we all know that in the end, states are the winners. And actually, Logan, there are billions of dollars, roughly 1.8 billion dollars just in New York alone that's not being collected. States win, consumers lose. Tasmima Fu is reporting live from the touchscreen tonight. Thank you so much.